report most LGBT Christians don't feel free or safe to be themselves in church. According to the 2021 Safeguarding LGBT Plus Christian Survey in, from the United Kingdom, only a minority of the 754 respondents felt safe to be themselves in their local church. The survey was conducted by the Oz, Ozan Foundation, an advocacy group that works with religious institutions to eliminate discrimination based on sexuality or gender. The report found that although an overwhelming majority of the participants, almost 69, nice, uh, 69% said they <laughs> rig, I'm so childish. <laughs> um, even though the majority of the participants, 69, almost 69% said that they regularly go to church, only um, 30, oh, roughly 37% feel safe to be themselves in their local church. Uh, 17% of the respondents say that they used to express their sexual orientation, but no longer feel safe about it. Reverend Paul Baines, the, a former chair of the Ozan Foundation, acknowledged the survey's findings by saying, quote, silence has a price, and we now see clearly who has been paying it. Dr. Sarah Carr, the research, uh, the research's independent monitor, mentioned that belief systems could be beneficial for the be could be beneficial for the mental health of many individuals, but the LGBTQ community might experience the opposite, as quote, so many have experienced exclusion or judgment by various faith communities. Do you know what this means? If Christians can't feel free to be themselves in church, do you know what this means? Uh, they should leave the church. No, it means it's working. That's what the <laughs> church is. So because as a Christian, you are a sinful, disgusting piece of nothing, worthless. You are depraved. You deserve to be punished forever because that's all you deserve as a sinful creature that you are and it's only through the grace of jesus christ that you get the blessing that you obviously do not deserve you know you should have been on the cross instead of jesus but he took all of your punishment you're all just disgusting pieces of crap so obviously you should not feel free to be yourself because you are worthless you're crap right you're an immoral sinful disgusting depraved animal why would you be comfortable with yourself that's the message of christianity why how, how dare you armin, how armin is not using dehumanizing rhetoric youtube he is repeating the attitudes oh. of others okay sorry yes i'm not i'm, not, I'm taking i'm telling you what this, this is all wrong okay i'm telling you what christianity teaches you okay so if you do not if you don't feel happy with yourself then you're just being true to christianity okay why would you be happy with who what you are you have to hate yourself. You have to feel disgusted of yourself. That's why you need Jesus. That's the whole point of you needing Jesus because you're worthless. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to grace. You're getting a gift that you don't deserve. Okay. So if the church is making you feel like you're not happy with yourself, if you're not feel comfortable so, with yourself, that means the church is doing its job properly in making you feel like that. I'm laughing because our live chat can't behave. The music has <laughs> talk dirty to me, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you're making the Christian God look like a dominatrix, Armin. I'm getting turned on by the idea of becoming a Christian. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> you're discussing religious trauma. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> I set the tone by laughing at 69, to be fair. <laughs> Um, but I don't know. I think what you said about like, oh, well, what do you like, then that means that their message is working is interesting because a lot of these congregations like nowadays try to stress like this, um, cause the report talks about how more churches are stressing not, the gays in the live chat need to calm down. <laughs> Asian American is saying, spank me harder, Sky Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect um 
So the report was talking about how a lot of the churches I'm in the UK are the ones that they were looking at have gotten up to the program in terms of like stressing the physical safety of LGBT people. But apparently they aren't doing enough to help nurture the spiritual and emotional well-being and safety of LGBT Christians. Um, although, again, kind of what you're, like, I don't know what's to be expected. Like, this isn't something that's for the past 2,000 years, like, been something that's okay. Um, I think uh, it's, I don't know, as a bisexual person who grew up in a Christian environment, I frankly have a very hard time understanding the impulse of queer people to remain religious. Um, it's it's frankly that like I try I think about it I try to consider it and it's something that my brain it just doesn't go like I have n not really any good way of trying to understand why someone would remain in the church. Uh, Let me try to speak on behalf of your people then. If you don't understand oh. bisexual, if you don't understand LGBT people, okay, let me tell you as, uh, let me explain it to you as a straight man, okay? Um, I think uh, for a lot of, for a lot of them, it might be that they have been so convinced that this is wrong, that the church provides a way for you to cleanse yourself. Maybe, but there are some that say that it's actually not wrong. Wrong. Vanity doesn't actually say that, that this is about their, that God is love and this is about their relationship with a loving God and that people mm -hmm. who try to make it seem like they are abominations are actually. That's why I said some. That that's why I didn't say yeah. some. That's why I didn't say all of it. Okay. But for a lot of people say that, it just seems like massive cope to me. It, it, that's religion, massive cope. True. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've met gay Catholic priests, openly gay Catholic priests. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of them, even, even if it is a sin, they say, well, we're all sinners anyways. Okay. I could, if, even if I'm a sinner for having these thoughts, at least I'm a Christian and I would be forgiven. Mm. Okay. So that's the idea for a lot of people. I guess it's just really hard for me to like try to empathize with that experience because the only way that I was able to deal with like that kind of messaging was to just like refuse to engage in it. Like screw you. I'm burning down the church mentally, mentally <laughs> and mentally YouTube. Yeah. yeah I had, I, I had to just like evacuate. Like I can't imagine trying to stay in that and, maintain that contention music guys saying they just need to leave to be honest that's how i feel but uh, i mean that doesn't actually get to the the core issue of like the actual belief in the problem of faith um for other ever stormy is saying we need a church of susanna i'm actually in favor of that i think there would be a lot of a lot of people that would yeah let's do that i'm not even joking i think we should have a church of susanna oh my goodness i think not there would be a lot of people Nihilist antinatalist is saying we need a gay mosque. Muslims would go crazy. In my area, we there is a there is a queer masjid. Yeah, we do. We already have that. I almost got kicked out of one. They're kind of the craziest ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, look, we already have the first candidate for the Church of Susanna. Yay! <laughs> oh, we have we have some we have a visitor. <gasps> oh baby so cute all right. all right hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below